Let's talk about mathematical expression, arithmetic expression, and algebraic expression. We have one real world problem here, and the problem is if the cost of one pen is rupees 10 and the cost of one pencil is rupees 5, what will be the total cost of 10 pens and 10 pencils? Now you will say that hey, that's a really very easy problem because we have done such problems in arithmetic when we were learning arithmetic and that's really very true. So in order to solve this, what you will do? You will do something like this. You will say that hey, since the cost of one pen is rupees 10, Therefore, the cost of 10 pence will be 10 times 10. Plus, since the cost of one pencil is 5, therefore, the cost of 10 pencils will be 10 times 5. Or let me make some space here. 10 times 5. And when you will solve this, you will get rupees 150. So what? have you done here? This real world problem has some numbers that you have used here and you have used what? You have used some arithmetic operations symbols like in this case multiplication, addition, again multiplication. So we know that we have some arithmetic operation symbols like plus, we have minus, we have multiplication and then we have division. These are the arithmetic operations that we use. These are the numbers of this real world problem and using some of the arithmetic operation symbols, we have expressed this real world problem into, a math into mathematical terms and this is an expression and this expression is a mathematical expression that is the expression of a real world problem into mathematical terms you form an expression that is mathematical expression so this is a very basic way to explain what do we mean by mathematical expression mathematical expression is written in terms of mathematics it consists of mathematical terms it will have some numbers and it will have some arithmetic operation symbols. Maybe an expression will contain all of these uh, arithmetic operation symbols and maybe some of these. Like in this case, we have only used two, multiplication and then we have addition. So this is a very brief introduction of uh, or very basic of mathematical expression. Now, just look at this mathematical expression. Can you see that we in this case we have only numbers like why i'm saying we have only numbers because we know that when we were learning algebra you know that in algebra we deal with variables algebra is all about variables we solve the real world problems using variables and you know that but in this expression you can clearly see that you don't have a single variable you have only numbers and you have only arithmetic operation symbols out of these arithmetic operations. So, what's the point? The point is that this mathematical expression, this mathematical expression that contains only numbers and arithmetic operation symbols like plus, minus, sub, uh, minus then multiplication or division, these are arithmetic these are arithmetic expressions these are arithmetic expressions so arithmetic expressions this is arithmetic expression so arithmetic expressions are mathematical expressions that are only made up of numbers and arithmetic operation symbols in this case we have used multiplication and then we have addition if I have to show you some other example, it can be like 10 plus 5. It can be like 10 times 5. We have two numbers here, right? For any mathematical expression, the minimum requirement is you should have, like for arithmetic expression, you should have at least two numbers. In this case, we have 10, we have 5. So 10, 5, two numbers, and then we have 
one arithmetic operation symbol that is plus. In this case 10, 5, we have this multiplication that is arithmetic operation symbol. So this is also a arithmetic expression. Like if we I say that 10 minus 5, then plus 2, then plus 3, then what we can say minus 1. So this is also a arithmetic expression. Why? We have some numbers. It only has numbers, no variables, and it has minus, it has plus, it has plus, it has minus, that is all of these arithmetic operation symbols. Even I can write it like 10, 100, then divide by 5, then minus 10 plus 2 plus 3 minus 6 divided by 2. Even this is a arithmetic expression. I'm not evaluating it, okay, I'm just leaving it for you. I'm just trying to explain you that arithmetic expressions are mathematical expressions that, are, that consist only of numbers and with those numbers are associated these arithmetic operation symbols. In this case, we have 100, 5, 10, 2, 3, 6, 2, and we have this division arithmetic operation, then we have subtraction, we have addition, then we have addition, then again subtraction, and then this division. So this is a, arith these are all our arithmetic expressions. Now, what will be the algebraic expression? Like we said, in arithmetic expression, we don't have any variables, but in the case of algebraic expression, we will have variables. If I say, let's say that when we were discussing about, when we were learning about uh, the perimeter of rectangle in algebra, we said that the perimeter of a rectangle can be expressed as 2 times L plus 2 times B, where we know that L represents what? Length and B represents what? Breadth of a given rectangle. So this will be the this will be the representation of a perimeter of a rectangle. Now you can clearly see that this is a algebraic expression. Why it is an algebraic expression? Because it has variables associated with this expression. Right? We have number also. Doesn't matter if even a single uh, variable is involved in a given mathematical expression. Then that mathematical expression will be an algebraic expression. In this case, we have two variables. Let's say that we have only like 1 plus x, we have 1 minus x, we have x times x, we have 1 plus x plus y plus z, we have x times y times z, we have x times divided by y minus z, okay? We have 1 times x times y, and minus z. So you can clearly see that in this case we have only one variable, in this case we have only one variable, in this case we have one variable two times, in this case we have three different variables, in this case we have three different variables, in this case we have three different variables, even in this case we have three different variables and they have numbers also and in this case we don't have any numbers, here we have numbers, here we don't have any numbers, here we don't have any numbers, but in this case we have numbers and are associated with these variables or numbers is what? Now, this arithmetic operation symbols. This plus, this is minus, this is multiplication, again plus, 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 multiplication, multiplication, division, subtraction. So all these are, example of, are examples of, all these are examples of uh, algebraic expression. So an algebraic expression is a mathematical expression that contains variables. It can also contain number, but the important thing is that it should contain variables, okay? Like in this case, we can clearly see that we don't have any numbers involved here, okay? So variables, are, uh, uh, that mathematical expression should contain variables and it surely should have these arithmetic operation symbols. So such ex these examples are of, these expressions are algebraic expression. We know that if we have to write uh, the uh, rectangle, area of a rectangle, uh, when we were learning, uh, we discussed this thing in algebra. So area of a rectangle will be L 
times b, where l is length, b is breadth, this is multiplication sign. So this is a general formula or general rule to find the area of a rectangle and this is a mathematical expression that is specifically a algebraic expression. And if we know the value of L and B, let's say that L is 5 and breadth is 2, then if we put these values here, then 5 times 2 will be 10 square unit. This is the answer for this area that is L times B. So this is an expression, a mathematical expression that is algebraic expression because it contains variables and it has this arithmetic operations uh, involved uh, in between these uh, variables. So we discussed about mathematical expression, arithmetic expression, algebraic expression. Arithmetic expression is also is a mathematical expression, algebraic expression is also a mathematical expression. The only difference lies is in arithmetic expression you will not have any variables, in algebraic expression you will have variables. Algebraic expression can or cannot contain numbers, that doesn't, that's not really very important. What's important is it should have a variable.